This is an easy GMAT problem solving question. This is from the topic percentage. It's a template question. Classify this one as a 600 level GMAT sample question. If the price of gasoline increases by 25% and Ron intends to spend only 15% more on gasoline, by what percentage should he reduce the quantity of gasoline that he buys? Let's get started with this question, but before doing that, let's just take a look at the data given to us. The increase in price is given in percentage term. The increase in the amount that Ron is willing to spend on gasoline is given in percentage term. What we need to compute is how much is the reduction in quantity that he is able to buy and that is asked in percentage term. So this question, the data is given in percentage term, what is asked is also we need to compute some percentage. So everything here revolves around just percentage, there is no absolute number at all. For such questions, a very easy way to get cracking with those questions is to assume something to be a 100. What is a good number to be assumed for as a hundred in this case? Let's assume the initial price per unit of gasoline to be hundred dollars. Let's make one more assumption. Let's assume that Ron bought one unit of gasoline at hundred dollars a unit. So how much dollars, what is the amount of money that you would have spent price per unit into the quantity? Price per unit, our assumption is hundred dollars. We have assumed that he is buying one unit. So the dollar that you would have spent on gasoline initially is hundred dollars. So this hundred makes life really easy in many sense. Let's just look at it, how it is in the very next statement. The price increases, it increases by 25%. 25% of the initial price. What's the initial price? Initial price is $100. So it's gone up by 25% of 100. Having this as 100 has a lot of benefit. 25% of 100 is nothing but 25. So the new price is 100 plus 25, which is equal to $125. So the new price per unit of gasoline is $125. It just doesn't stop here. Even in the next statement, this 100 is going to be of great help. He is increasing the amount that he will spend on gasoline by 15%. How much did he initially spend? He spent initially $100. So the 100 is helping us here as well. So he is increasing it by 15% of the initial amount which is 100. 15 percentage of 100 is a 15. So the new amount that he is willing to spend is $115. Quickly recapture this entire thing in a printed form. We are making an assumption that the cost per unit is $100 and he's buying one unit. So he'll spend $100 on gasoline initially. Price goes up by 25%. So the new price per unit is $125. He is willing to spend an additional 15% on the initial amount of 100. So the new value, the new dollar value for which he's going to be buying gasoline is $115. Obviously, if he's not willing to spend $125, he's going to get less than one unit. Let's say at $115 of his spend, he is getting Q units of gasoline. We know that the amount that he is spending is equal to price into quantity. What's the price? Price is equal to 125. The quantity is what we are trying to find out. How much will he get right now? For the amount that he is spending, which is equal to $115. New price is 125. He is willing to spend only 115. That's the amount that he is spending. What's the quantity you will get? Let's say that equals Q. So solving this simple equation, we'll get Q is equal to 115 upon 125. Both these numbers are divisible by 5. So divide both the numerator and denominator by 5. The denominator will be a 25. The numerator is going to be 23. So initially, he was able to get 1 unit of gasoline. Now he is managing only 23 by 25 units. So how much has it gone down by? How much? What is the reduction? Initially it was 1. Now it is 23 by 25. So it's gone down by, take 25 as a common denominator, 25 minus 23, which is equal to 2 by 25. So decrease in quantity is equal to 2 by 25 units. What's the percentage decrease? The formula to compute percentage decrease is decrease upon initial quantity into 100. How much has it come down by? It's come down by 2 by 25. What's the initial quantity? He was buying one unit initially. Into 100 should give us the answer. So 200 by 25, it's come down by 8 percentage. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. The new price is 125. New amount that he's willing to spend is 115. The new quantity that he's going to be able to buy is Q. Q equals 23 by 25. So how much has it gone down by? He was able to buy 1. Now it's down to 23 by 25. So it's gone down by 1 minus 23 by 25, which is 2 by 25 units. Percentage decrease is decrease in quantity by initial quantity. Decrease in quantity is a 2 by 25 units. Initial quantity is a 1, so it's not been mentioned here. Times 100, which is equal to 8%. Choice C is the correct answer to the question. Before you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash
and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.